Hi, my name is Michael and I'm back with more practical data solutions and I'm very happy to see you back on the channel. I know that if you have discovered this video most likely you're quite worried about the data you might just have lost with your corrupted micro SD card, but we have a solution with Recover It. So without further ado, let's get started. SD cards are very portable and great for storing any kind of data. We have them in cameras, in action cameras, on your smartphone, and we use them for storing all sorts of data like documents, photos, music, video files, and so on. Problem is when these bodies get corrupted. Unfortunately, most of us fail to recognize the pre-failure conditions for microSD cards, so we can sum up the symptoms into a few main groups. Very often, an SD card requires fixing if we get some files missing, like you put the card into the reader and you can't find the file you've just recorded. Or sometimes you turn on the camera and the screen remains black, or you might get a weird notification, or the camera simply makes unexpected reboots. Sometimes your SD card cannot be recognized by any device that you try to put it into, because it simply is corrupt. Another condition you might experience are the error messages. They can pop up on your screen and let you know that there is a problem with your device and most often you're gonna see messages like memory card error, corrupt memory card and something like that and the chances are that there really is a problem and you're unable to read the data. As a last common occurrence, we might point to the weird looking files. So yeah, sometimes you put the card in and you realize that there are a bunch of files whose extension you don't really recognize and the file name doesn't make sense, most likely we're talking here about corrupt file index structure, which also is bad and means that this body is corrupted. Nobody wants to experience these kind of troubles, so we've tried to narrow down a few good ideas that you might try in order to fix your SD cards. Let's start with method 1, where you can try running your SD card in other devices. That's the most simple troubleshooting technique. Get the card, put it into another reader. Find another SD card, another computer. Think about borrowing your friend's device and verify if the SD card is going to run. If you're lucky enough, that might work. If not, method two, checking for errors with the embedded in Windows check disk command. Connect the SD card into the system, make sure it's detected by the OS, go to the start menu, open computer, and make sure to write down the letter which is assigned to your SD card. Then go back to the start menu and open the command prompt, better to run it as administrator. Once the Windows is there, type the magic spell CHKDSK, which is equivalent to check disk. Put a space, colon, and slash F. F stands for fix. Hit the enter button and wait for a few seconds. If there is something to be fixed, you're going to see a notification. Accept by typing Y and hit the enter button and the file structure of your SD card is going to be recovered. Third good option is to try to assign a new letter to your SD card. Again, make sure that the SD card is connected to the computer. Right click on the start, click on disk management and the console is going to open. Right click on the volume of the drive letter that you wish to change and make the choice out of the letters which are provided, select OK, there's going to be a warning, make sure to accept it and in a few seconds the new drive letter is going to be assigned. If that doesn't help and your files are still not readable, we can go to number 4, the methods which involves formatting. We've already had an episode dedicated to that, so make sure to check the detailed instruction on how to format on Mac and Windows and this time I'll give you the shortest kind of tutorial. Click on the Start button, go to My Computer, then right-click on your SD card, select Format, make sure to tick the Quick Format option in order to make everything faster, click the Start button and accept the notification, in a few seconds you're going to be done. Ok, you've just formatted the card and most likely it's readable, but how about the situation that prior to the format there was some precious data that just got lost. Well, we've got you covered because Recover It can save some files even from SD cards which have just been formatted. Connect the SD card to the PC and run the Recover It software. 
Select the SD card and hit the start button in order to begin the process. It's going to scan and discover all the files it manages to find on the SD card. After everything is done, check the list and figure out which are the files that you wish to recover. Select them, choose the recovery destination, hit the recover button and there we go, the files have just been recovered. That's the end of this video and after looking into those tips and tricks, I truly hope you feel much more comfortable when it comes to recovering corrupted SD cards. Treat them well, no excessive heat, no coldness, no magnet devices nearby, but I know sometimes corrupting an SD card is inevitable. So in these situations, in order not to lose files, recover it is available for you. More information you might find in the description right below the video. And if you find this tutorial useful, subscribe, please. And thank you for that. My name is Michael. I'll be back very soon with more practical data solutions. Bye.